All right, so don't forget when you're doing all this, the whole object isn't actually to break his arm, but it's to get his center. So when I'm pointing this stick, I want to go through his center into whatever direction that we're going. If he's going down, I want to take his center down. If we're going across the room, I want to take his center across the room. This is just a nice convenient handle. If I didn't have the handle, I would be walking through him that way. So whenever you've got a handle, whatever the handle is, you want to affect here. So it's not about breaking bones, although you can. That's a nice bonus on the street. But <laughs> what you really want to do is affect his center. That's why I'm not so worried about touching his elbow, because I'm trying to get control of the, the center and the guy as a whole. That's why I don't really care where, where all the positions are. I am worried about is it falling, is the joint, are all the joints falling into place? Is this stick a real stick? Is this joint going into the socket? Is the socket going into the other shoulder? Am I driving him into the ground, not, not his hand? I don't care about the hand, that's just something to grab hold of. But really I want to get him into the center of the universe. Yes? How do you keep his elbow from, how do you keep from flaring his elbow to release tension? Is there a way to do that? Yeah. Do I have to hold Yeah. <laughs> Come play with the lady with the bad back. Come on. Like <laughs> so we've got you. Little, little, little. Where's your handle? There it is. So when you've got it all locked up, you can't really bend your elbow. And if you do, I don't really care. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Does that answer the question?